Ani. Bonjour. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this evening's performance of the River Speak Community Play. We're really grateful to all of you for making your way here to be with us tonight. Um, my name is Robin Sutherland. I'm the Artistic Director of Thinking Rock Community Arts. And we're the organization that um, has produced the River Speak Community Play. I'd like to start by saying chimigwech to the Mississauga First Nation Chief and Council for granting, granting us permission to host this performance on their sacred grounds of the powwow. Um, it's been a real honor to work with them and to work in this incredibly beautiful and important space um, for this process. I'd also like to thank Mississauga First Nation, Elliott Lake, Serpent River First Nation, and Blind River for being our amazing community partners over the past four years and leading up to this performance tonight. This um, journey has been a four-year process. Uh, we've engaged over 1,500 people over the past four years in the, the River Speak community engaged process. And tonight you'll see over 40 community performers aged four all the way up to somewhere over 80. <laughs> And um, they've been guided in this process by 15 artists. So I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has worked so hard to be part of this and uh, make this performance a reality. Over the past four years, um, we've been gathering stories from local people about the rivers and waterways of this area and what they mean to them. And uh, these could be personal stories, memories, myths, legends. And a lot of these stories have been collected on the river map, which is in our little welcome booth over here. Some of you may have seen it already. Um, it's covered in story tags, and a lot of the stories that are on that map you'll hear um, spoken in the play tonight. So I really encourage you to check that out um, if you can this evening. I'd like to um, say chi miigwech to our elder advisors. Um, Oh, it's getting more emotional as it goes on. Um, Elsie, Nokmis Elsie Bizayon, who's behind me here. Um, Marley Day, who you'll see in a moment as Thunderbird Woman. And Gerard Sagasage, who is skulking amongst you out there somewhere. <laughs> He's here with us tonight. Um, these three people have been um, really incredibly helpful in guiding um, this process over the last four years. So we're very grateful for their help and support and kindness um, in getting, getting us through this to this point. I'd also like to thank um, our sponsors and funders, which include uh, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council. Yay! Um, there's some of them are here tonight, so very important, special. Um, Ontario 150, Ontario Trillium Foundation, um, Nordic Institute, the Community Endowment Fund of the United Way, the Laidlaw Foundation, Pynchon, and Algoma Financial. So we're really grateful to all of those supporters for making this possible. Um, we are a nonprofit organization, so your donations make this work um, happen in our community. So I, you'll see our fancy donation boxes over at the welcome booth and we encourage you to fill them up as much as you can um, so that we can continue doing this kind of work for the years ahead. I'll also ask um, everyone at this point to please turn off your electronics and not take any photos or videos throughout the play. Um, this is out of respect for our performers and also it's following local cultural protocols. We do have two videographers here this evening. You'll see going um, amongst the crowd tonight and we have special arrangement for them to be videoing tonight and they're putting together a document they're documenting the process for thinking rock so they're they're with us and they will be traveling amongst the audience tonight um, so as I mentioned this has been a four-year journey of learning together how Anishinaabe and non-indigenous people in this area can work together to value and respect one another's stories, histories, spirituality, traditions, culture, and language. The play that you'll see tonight is a representation of that learning journey. 
which will continue on long after this play has finished and long after we all go home tonight. I look forward to continuing this journey with everyone that's been part of this process over the past four years and also with all of you. So thank you, miigwech. And I'll introduce uh, Nochmiss Elsie Bazion and her helpers who will offer some words and a song to open the play. On behalf of myself, Thinking Rock, I was going to say Standing Rock, Thinking Rock, <laughs> and community members, we welcome you and share with you this live production and also to remember and to honor our heritage as Nishnabek people. I am so happy to be with you tonight and uh, uh, talk about and for you to see this very important matter regarding the water, <clears throat> which we all know today is uh, very sacred and it is being contaminated by human activity. And I have with me three little nokmis beside me here. And I am going to be the one, as our title says, the, the, the river speaks. I am going to be the river. You are the keepers of the water. I am Nibish. Water. I am the water. The sacred water. I am the life giver. I will give drink to your grandchildren. Please hear my agony and pain as I call for the rain to come down. Our daughters Remember, you will always be the keepers of the water. Please feel my pain, my hurt, my sorrows, as the water is getting darker and darker, all running through the heart of our Mother Earth. We have so much to be thankful for today. Look around, all the bounty that Mother Earth gives us. To the Creator, to Mother Earth, to our ancestors who are with us here tonight. They're all over and happy to see us following in their footsteps. I am very happy to be here and do this for these young women who are in the Ojibwe teachings, are the carriers of the water, the keepers of the water. And this will continue and continue and continue as the teaching goes with the little young ladies here. And now we have all kinds of songs out there. In our um, Nishnabek ways, teachings, we have uh, teachings and drum and songs about the, about the eagle, about the trees, about the butterfly. Oh, many, many, many things we could sing about. 
And, and we have um, the water song, thank you song, all kinds of songs. But now we, the women, will be singing the water song for you. I hope you enjoy your stay in this community. Miigwech.
My name is Marley Day, and I'm truly honored to be a part of this special gathering. As Elder Elsie, Milk Miss Elsie, talked about the water, it's um, that water she mentioned is, is sick. And this is so right. And this next song that we're going to be sharing with you is uh, talks about that water. Talks about the spirit of that water and how sick that water is getting. But it also talks about loving the water. Because as I understand the teachings of Josephine Mondaman, and I I acknowledge her because she's our water walker. She's walked around the Great Lakes for many years in various places. And she talks about our water and she's brought attention to the whole world about how we must take care of that water. And in our language, we call that water Nibe. And at this time, I'd like to share this song with you. Oh.
I'm truly honored to be a part of this Thunderbird woman. In our language, we say, Nimki Beneshe Kwe. And she's a powerful entity, and she's connected to all the natural elements of Mother Earth. This, um, this image of Th Thunderbird Woman was designed by my nephew, Isaac Murdoch. And he came up with this design a couple of years ago. And next month he's going to New York to have, he's going to be honored with the best artist. And I talked to my family about this um, being the Thunderbird woman. And since this was Isaac Smith's um, image, he said, go ahead, Auntie. He said, you know, he, he said, you do that. And um, it feels, it feels here, it feels right in the heart for me to be out here like this. She's, um, like I said, she's a powerful entity and um, she's, um, she's really um, connected to uh, our Anishinaabe people. When our Anishinaabe people um, they hear the thunders coming. They they lay down their sema, their tobacco, and they know that um, these um, these thunders they have spirits. So those thunders are really honored by our in our culture, and it's a very special time for us when that thunder comes. And we stay quiet when that thunder comes and, and we honor those, those thunders. So it's, it's special for me and, and I think that's all I have to share about Thunderbird Woman. Be quiet. Be quiet.
every weekend, the men would come down to the logging camp every every weekend. Weekend. Every weekend. and dance at the condo mall. I grew up deep in the woods in a small log cabin with no running water or electricity. On the coldest days, I'd wake up with my hair frozen to the wall. <laughs> my parents and I we used horses to clear the land and build a, a tourist resort. <coughs>
As a young girl, I ran the restaurant just off the highway. It was always full of loggers and fishermen. It was tough work. Tough, but beautiful. <laughs> The Mississauga River was clogged with logs, making their way down to McFadden's.
married that man, <laughs> had two kids, and ran two camps at the same time. When my husband died, I did. 
what I had to do. I worked. It was the 60s and I was raising two kids and running two tourist resorts on my own. The kids hardly saw me from sunup to sundown. Then one day, at five o'clock in the morning, I looked out the window and my store was burning. I ran down and carried buckets of water up and down from the lake. I couldn't even stop to put shoes on. I had huge blisters on my feet. It was so hot. The varnish on the side of the house was blistering. We'd be lucky not to lose the house. Everything was so hot. Gun shells were exploding in the store. Liquor bottles, too. Exploding left, right, center. If the gas tanks had blown, we would have lost the house. Hydro. Hydro, they sent a pumper truck. They watered down the house because there was nothing to be done for the store by the time they got there. It's almost all gone. The timber was so old and dry. We should get over there if we had the chalice go around the back.
The strawberries are a part of our Anishinaabe teachings, a part of our culture. When you look at that strawberry, it's a symbol of love because it looks like a heart. And we use the strawberry, that sacred berry, in many of our traditional ceremonies. At this time, 
I'd like to share this strawberry song from us to you. How?
was young Ira. Ira was 10 years old when he left home. Most of his brothers and sisters had been to residential school, but Ira was raised with his, by his grandparents in the traditional way. When his family got together, he felt like nobody understood him, like he didn't even belong to his own family. So he decided to leave three days before Christmas. He packed a bag and he left home. Ani, no, I'm doing it. Beshe bisha, I'm peeping mother bit. Me way. I run the knob in this neck cars. One pee misses a king git cognago. Me go on the nest sack, me on the nest sack. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a speaker. Min wan mi shump se bun git ko gana ko, anish na be mat se bun git saska. Kaya wingi a bun de bandak se si ma pin dod me. Gama jo ang gin endo. Dam shke mat ang gin a de. Thank you. 
podwoja syn. Zizi ba akut. Ni bisha bu. Be a pons. Wow, what? Sona ağrının Bejik Niş Sve Niyuel Nana Baş kızı hadi gel. Ah, come on, give this guy. Square. And so, give you get old. Just what? Ne ba na mang? Give my job.
Tawinge go kito dago si. Tawinge en banen masi wo washkesh. Pit kam seme eta. Nous allons faire la pêche et la chasse. Ma mère, elle faisait du canage. Les fruits, les légumes. C'était beaucoup d'ouvrage, mais c'était nécessaire pour préparer pour l'hiver. Gine de gosne me zage gening chiblo gajin kade Gibe dabi me je nos Niko ikeda Ego je ja kebe bona Baba ga kom eje jong je mbis sini Ka wingi mamnen zin mande eje mosse anje Niko et ginen do Ap chun dop kade Can I give up a
Giaba Madas with Gishagadun, give me out with him to walk in. Bakwe Give my say. Sweat and geese go down squat, nymph go darting, and gee gee.
parfois eu faim. Mais nous avons continué. shines bright tonight. The light on the lake shines bright tonight, showing us the way to shore. The shore is calmly caressed by the tired sea. The tired sea rocks in a cradle of its waves. Waves are gentle and waves are calm and whisper to you as you snuggle down. Snuggle down and worry not about the day to come. Day to come day to go, on and on, on and on we wild wolves run till the stars fall out of the sky. The sky holds stars to watch you as you sleep. <clears throat> sleep, now sleep, my sharp teeth, babe. My ingin no comeskizis nibe
at the end of our traditional ceremonies, the Ojibwe people, Anishinaabe people, always show much gratitude. And at this time, I'd like to thank you all for coming. And I'm going to share this Miigwech song. Ho. Yeah.